Well, my name is Bud Center. I'm the Director of Technical Products and Curriculum here at ICAR. And we are currently standing in our ADAS lab in our new Chicago Tech Center in Vernon Hills, Illinois. This lab was created so that we could bring together the, the training that the industry needs, the hands-on uh, proficiency training that the industry is going to need to understand how to properly repair these vehicles and their uh, ADAS systems, the advanced driver, advanced driver assist systems. So that's what we have set up in here. This room, you'll see that we have all of the OEM tooling and equipment that we need for doing these calibrations. We're in the ideal uh, conditions, surroundings for, for doing these uh, calibrations. The lighting is adjustable so that we can adapt to the uh, uh, outdoor lighting. The floor that we're standing on here is a perfectly level and flat surface. Uh, there will be an, a video coming out from ICAR that is going to be a time-lapse video to show what it took for us to get this level and flat surface. Uh, our initial conversations with the contractors, they didn't think that they could do it. They weren't sure. So again, this is the, the space where we'll do our prof hands-on proficiency training for ADAS-related topics. And uh, I think at this point, I'll step out of the way and I'll let Scott and Bill talk a little bit about the class that you can see set up behind us for our static calibrations. Thank you, bud. So we're, we are in the ADAS lab here at the uh, Vernon Hills ICAR Training Center. And we've run a few different classes out of here already. And we've got a three-day dedicated hands-on ADAS calibration class. Now that's just for static calibrations. And we've got a bunch of different vehicles out here. Uh, you can see we've got a Kia, we've got Nissans, we've got Hondas, a uh, little bit of everything from the industry that needs static calibration. And the first day of the class, you're going to get a little bit of theory, a little bit of background, but then we're going to get you right into the lab and we're going to start identifying all the different components of these vehicles that are working together to create that experience that the drivers are used to of autonomous braking, lane keeping, all the different things that these cars are designed to do. And in a collision, all those things can go a little haywire. So post-collision repair, we need to get them back all calibrated together, aligned with the wheel alignment, the structural alignment, and the ADS alignment on the vehicle. It's not going to work together the way it's designed. So day one you're doing a little bit of hands-on day two is almost all hands-on where you're working on these vehicles you're doing camera aimings radar aimings bsi aimings 360 camera aimings and you're going to get pretty good at it you're going to get enough of it that you get not just exposure but you get to practice and you get to practice in a safe environment uh, which is really important we don't want you practicing on a customer's vehicle that's going to go out the door and then day three is really a hands-on assessment where you're gonna, you're gonna have a written test, but you're also gonna have a hands-on assessment where you're gonna do multiple aimings on multiple vehicles. And there's gonna be an instructor there like Bill that's gonna basically grade you and tell you, okay, here's something you may have to work on a little bit. Here's something you need to do better and give you pointers and tips. So Bill, what else can we tell them about it? Well, <clears throat> what we'd like to do also is, is um, break the vehicle down right from the start, get the, get the vehicle center point in line with the wheels on the tires so it's tracking straight down the road. Once you have that starting point, then we move the vehicle onto a flat surface and we go into the calibration mode for either the forward facing camera or the front radar or possibly, <clears throat> excuse me, just the automatic emergency braking system in the car. And there's multiple <clears throat> targets that are available for that. And that, that have to be precisely put in the, in the areas. So you're going to be actually working on a car and putting a target in on a two-hour calibration. You're going to be working on this car for about an hour and a half just to go and push the button to tell it to calibrate. So all that time you're going to be learning about where to place these targets correctly, um, what's the effect of not putting them in correctly, and approaching these cars with a lot more confidence that you're going to identify these components, and if they are related to the accident, then we're going to we're going to attack them. We're going to correct what's in the vehicle itself, and then we'll test the systems afterwards. 